I was having a great conversation with a luxury marketer. In fact, someone in a senior position in a luxury uh, brand, at a luxury brand. And one of the things we were talking about is the, the power of having the right person in the right position uh, as it relates to dealing with customers properly and helping the other associates, the, the, uh, the sales ambassadors, if you will, do a great job in extending this brand out there in the market in, further, in bigger ways. Uh, what we're seeing in the luxury market is many of these brands want to move to lifestyle. They want to move from just focusing on products and they want to move to helping customers understand that whatever product they like, it's a lifestyle and that there are other areas that they can uh, enjoy as a result of being associated with that brand. Now, what does that take? What that takes are folks who can convey that message, who can sell that message, who can market that message. But more than anything, it really takes leaders inside the organization. Whether you sell luxury, whether you sell technology, or whether you sell finance, you have to understand the distinction between being a manager and being a leader. You know, a manager is looking at the details associated with managing, the facts, the figures, uh, the schedules, the, the numbers, the personnel, the backgrounds, the paperwork, uh, making sure that everything happens accordingly, the way it should happen. We call that making sure the trains run on time, so to speak. But a leader has to look beyond that. A leader has to be a person who can speak to those issues that are not written down, that can stir up excitement and inspiration and commitment where there might be none. Uh, a leader has to be able to say, hey, we're going in this direction and here's why. A leader has to be able to say that I see some things here that need to be addressed that we are not addressing. In fact, a leader will often have to go out front and be out there alone uh, in, a, in an idea, uh, in a movement, in a direction that others just don't understand at all. That is what every industry needs today. Every industry needs more leaders, people who can step up and can see how do we get this organization to new levels of success. It's a tough market out there. Um, people are a lot more cautious about the money that they spend. And if you sell business to business, I wish you luck because the business to business market is tougher than it's ever been. Uh, people are blocking out salespeople. They're blocking out marketers. They're trying to find a way to not make certain decisions or to delay them. Of course, they're not acting like leaders either, but you have to demonstrate that you're a leader in order to break through. Understand the distinction between management and leadership. Take a look at your industry. Take a look at your work. Take a look at the things that you must do and those things that other people are not say saying and other people are not doing and decide that you will do them, that you will lead the charge, and that you will help the organization reach new heights. What we need today is not so much managers, but what we need are leaders.